order of elements and primitive roots. Definition. Let n be a positive integer and let the GCD between a and n being 1. So a and n are relatively prime. The order of a modulo n, denoted this way, is the smallest positive in integer m such that a to the m power is congruent to 1 mod n. So let's take a look at some examples. Suppose I asked you to calculate the ord of 2 mod 7. We look at 2 to the first power and that's 2 mod 7. 2 squared is equal to 4 mod 7. 2 cubed is 8 which reduces to 1 mod 7. So the ord of 2 is 3 mod 7 because that's the smallest power that when you raise 2 to mod 7 you get 1. So let's calculate the ord of 3 mod 7. 3 to the 1 power is just 3 mod 7. 3 squared is 9 which is the same as 2 mod 7. 3 cubed is 27 and when you divide that by 7 the remainder is 6. 3 to the fourth power. Now we could write 81 and then reduce that mod 7 or 3 to the fourth is 3 times 3 cubed and 3 cubed is 6 so I can multiply that 6 by 3 and get 18 which reduces to 4 since 7 goes into 14. Mod 7, 3 to the fifth power. Again, we could calculate that number, or 3 to the fifth is 3 times 3 to the fourth. So it's 3 times 4, which is 12, which reduces to 5, mod 7. 3 to the sixth power is 3 times 3 to the fifth. So that's 3 times 5, or 15. And since 7 goes into 14, the remainder is 1, mod 7. So the order of 3 is 6. Theorem 8.1. Let n be a positive integer, and let a be an integer such that the greatest common divisor of a and n is 1. So again, they're relatively prime. Then the ord of a is always going to divide phi of n. It's a divisor of phi of n. Okay, so what does that mean? In the previous examples, we were looking at the ord of some values modulo 7. So our n was 7. So phi of 7, since 7 is prime, phi of 7 is just 7 minus 1, or 6. So the ord of values modulo 7 have to be divisors of 6 which would be 1, 2, 3, or 6. So when we were calculating powers in the previous example we didn't really have to calculate the fourth and fifth power. I'll look at another example. Suppose I ask you to find the ord of 7 modulo 11. The first thing we might do is calculate phi of 11 which again 11 is prime so that's going to be 11 minus 1 or 10. So the divisors of 10 are 1, 2, 5, and 10. So the ord of 7 has to be either 1, 2, 5, or 10. Well, it's not 1, because 7 to the 1 is 7, mod 11. 7 squared is 49. And since 11 goes into 44, the remainder is 5, mod 11. The next one we need to try is 7 to the 5th. So 7 to the 5th is 16,807. We divide that by 11. We subtract off the whole number part. Multiply back by 11. And we get 10. So 7 to the 5th is congruent to 10 mod 11. And the next power we need to do is 7 to the 10th power. Now remember, 7 to the 10th power is 7 to the 5th times 7 to the 5th. 
and 7 to the 5th is 10. So 7 to the 10th is congruent to 100, 10 times 10, mod 11. And 7 to the 10th is congruent to 1, mod 11, since 11 goes into 99. The remainder is 1. So the order of 7 modulo 11 is 10. We know that a to the phi of n is congruent to 1 mod n, if a and n are relatively prime. Remember, that was Euler's theorem. So that's a power that works, but the order is the smallest power that works, and sometimes there's a smaller power. So let's try one more. Suppose I want to calculate the ord of 2 modulo 13. So first I'm going to calculate phi of 13. Again, since 13 is prime, phi of 13 is 12. So the divisors of 12, things that divide evenly into 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. So the ord of 2 is going to be one of those values. All right, 2 to the 1 power is not 1. 2 squared gives us 4. We're going to stop when we get something that reduces to 1. 2 cubed is 8, mod 13. 2 to the 4th is 16, which is the same as 3, mod 13. 2 to the 6th, so 2 to the 6th is 2 squared times 2 to the 4th, so you can do 4 times 3 or 12, mod 13. That will save you a little bit of time. And notice 12 is the same thing as negative 1, mod 13. So when I go to do 2 to the 12th, it's going to be 12 times 12 or negative 1 times negative 1, which is positive 1, mod 13. So the order of 2, mod 13, is 12. So now we want to take a look at this theorem. Primitive root. So suppose p is a prime and a is an integer such that p does not divide a. It's really saying the same thing as the greatest common divisor is 1. We say a is a primitive root modulo p if the ord of p is equal to phi of p, which is p minus 1, since it's a prime. So in the previous example, we got the ord of 2 mod 13 was 12. That tells us that 2 is a primitive root, modulo 13. And did we find some other primitive roots? The ord of 3 modulo 7 was 6, which is p minus 1. So 3 is a primitive root modulo 7. Theorem. There are phi of phi of n primitive roots modulo n. So how many primitive roots are there modulo 7? So we've got to calculate phi of phi of 7. So phi of 7 is 6. Now phi of 6 is not 6 minus 1 because 6 is not a prime number. you got to remember the formula to calculate phi. And 2 and 3 are the prime factors of 6. So it's 6 times 1 minus a half times 1 minus a third. That's 6 times 1 half times 2 thirds. And if you do the math, that comes out to be 2. So there are two primitive roots, modulo 7. Modulo of 11, we're going to do phi of phi of 11. So phi of 11 is 10. Phi of 10 is 10 times 1 minus a half times 1 minus 1 fifth, since 2 and 5 are the only prime factors of 10. And that reduces to 4. So there are four primitive roots modulo 11. Example. 2 is a primitive root mod 13. Find the other primitive roots mod 13. So first, let's find out how many there are. And that's phi of 12. And that's 12 times 1 minus a half times 1 minus a third, since 2 and 3 are the only prime factors of 12. So that's 12 times a half, which is 6, times 2 thirds, which is 
4 again. So now if we look at the reduced residue system, modulo V of 13. So we're going to write down all of the remainders when you divide by 12 and then cancel out all of the ones that have a common factor with 12. So all the ones that have a factor of 2 or 3. And once we do that, what we would be left with is 1, 5, 7, and 11. Those are all the numbers less than 12 that are relatively prime to 12 or have no common factor, greatest common divisor of 1. So we've got 2 as a primitive root. We want 2 to the first power, 2 to the fifth power, 2 to the 7th power, and 2 to the 11th power. And that will give you all of the other primitive roots. If re you reduce those values, modulo 13 this time, we're going to get 2, and 2 to the 5th reduces to 6, 2 to the 7th to 11, and 2 to the 11th to 7. So if you want to put them in order, 2, 6, 7, and 11 are the primitive roots, mod 13. So I hope that helps, and you have a great day.